Good afternoon, you guys. A big question today. Did Jesus claim to be God? Let's see what Hank Hanegraaff has to say. When Jesus came to Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples the mother of all questions, Who do you say that I am? Mormons answer this question by saying that Jesus is the spirit brother of Lucifer. Jehovah's Witnesses answer by saying that Jesus is the archangel Michael. New Agers say that Jesus is an avatar or an enlightened messenger. Jesus, however, answered by claiming he was God. First, Jesus claimed to be the unique son of God. As a result, the Jewish leaders tried to kill him because in calling God his own father, Jesus was making himself equal to God, John 5.18. In John 8.58, Jesus went so far as to use the very words by which God revealed himself to Moses from the burning bush. To the Jews, this was the epitome of blasphemy, for they knew that in doing so, Jesus was clearly claiming to be God. On yet another occasion, Jesus explicitly told the Jews, I and the Father are one. Therefore the Jews picked up stones to stone him, but Jesus said to them, I have shown you many great miracles from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any of these, replied the Jews, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. John 10, 30-33 Furthermore, Jesus made an unmistakable claim to deity before the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin, Caiaphas, the high priest, asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? I am, Jesus said, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Mark fourteen sixty one through 62 A biblically illiterate person might well have missed the import of Jesus' words. Caiaphas and the council, however, did not. They knew that in saying he was the Son of Man who would come on the clouds of heaven, he was making an, making an overt reference to the Son of Man in Daniel's prophecy in Daniel 7. And in doing so, he was not only claiming to be the pre-existent sovereign of the universe, but prophesying that he would vindicate his claim by judging the very court that was now condemning him. Moreover, by combining Daniel's prophecy with David's proclamation in Psalm 110, Jesus was claiming that he would sit upon the throne of Israel's God and share God's very glory. To students of the Old Testament, this was the height of blasphemy. Thus, they all condemned him as worthy of death. Mark 14, 64. Finally, Jesus claimed to possess the very attributes of God. For example, he claimed omniscience by telling Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times, Matthew twenty six thirty four. He declared omnipotence by not only resurrecting Lazarus in John eleven forty three, but by raising himself from the dead, see John two nineteen, and professed omnipresence by promising he would be with his disciples to the very end of the age, Matthew twenty eight twenty. Not only so, but Jesus said to the paralytic in Luke five twenty. Friend, your sins are forgiven. In doing so, he claimed a prerogative reserved for God alone. In addition, when Thomas worshipped Jesus, saying, My Lord and my God, John 20, 28, Jesus responded with commendation rather than with condemnation. For further study, see Millard Erickson, The Word Became Flesh, a Contemporary Incarnational Christology. Hopefully that served for some help or encouragement today. Hope you have a great day. See ya.